Yo, what's up? Hey, I'm sorry. I've been gone for so long since December. And I've just been going through my own real life stuff. But I want to comment a little bit on the state of hip hop. Yo, I haven't heard none of Nas' album. That Jay-Z and Beyonce song is... I feel like... MCN at its highest intense rate has left. I was talking to some of the big homies for the past few weeks and they asked and I asked them why ain't rap like it was in the nineties or why isn't how it used to be? Most people say people ain't hungry. I kind of agree, you know, the, the, the big homies are my favorite rappers like Nas, The Locks, they still deliver, but I understand, it's a difference when you booming, and booming means when you popping and you hot, then when you kind of on a dry spell, when people are booming, the ambition and the hunger is there, the intensity of want to be great is there making themselves legendary is there yeah hip hop is not at a good state but I look at it like this if these dudes who ain't so called lyrical like they was in the 90's could come up use this as a motivation or two if the people that's not good could come up then the people who are lyrical hungry could come up Laws of attraction. You got to kind of, if you want a lyrical dude, and if you want people who are really lyrical or really hungry, really about the hip-hop culture, really about originality, you got to go out there and track that. Like, laws of attraction. We can go after things and go after the most beautiful women, get the shiny car, get the expensive house. You got to speak that into existence. You got to be like, hey, the game will be this way again. You can't say, uh, uh, I could come close to where I used to be. Uh, no, I could come better. If you're a legendary artist or you're a legendary singer or legendary, this goes for all people who are legendary MCs. If you made it one time, you can make it again. You can hide. You can hide what you was when you was as a rookie, as, 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 as much as you did back then as in terms of when it comes to just saying okay I do what it is because I know my artist is going to buy it I know my I mean my fan base is going to buy it I know I will have good music you people come lax become too lax the old heads and the young heads think that they don't have to have lyrical content they just open their mouth just because they feel like they have words and they feel like they have a voice, they can have a voice. No. No, um, I also want to touch on trolling. Trolling is bad. That goes back to what I just said before. If you want the fame, even though fame should not be the true target make yourself a great talented artist and then the fame will come you don't have to trash talk cyber bully or aggravate nobody to come up you don't have to attract negative energy or draw negativity If you want to become successful, stay true to the art at hand of what you said, of the occupation of what you stepped into. Yeah, I talk everybody. What I just said, everybody is watered down. Even the the old, some of the old heads that's true to the game. 
but I'm going to say this. They can be watered down if they want to because they already had a great career. They have, if when if, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, people are going to like their music more than they dislike some of their music. So they can cool off. They're getting older. They're reaching in their 40s, 50s. Eventually, they're going to hit 60s, hopefully. They can. They can take their time and rest and do more business endeavors. But for you new artists, you got to come heavy with content. Content. If you mad because a lot of people do not like your music, it's because the content is not good. I'm sorry. And people just got to stop saying, stop disrespecting some of the old heads too. Like, for instance, like the F2 Pots and Biggies and the Nas and Jay Z's. Even if they did some bad and I don't quite agree with it. sometimes you gotta let God deal with that person now it's cool to call out the trait they acting off of if it's bad and negativity but you just doing it for attention it really don't matter that thought pattern really don't matter Cause you just hating because you bad you bad off in the situation. Now it's a difference between necessary hatred and unnecessary hatred. Necessary hatred is when a person been wrong and they don't care about your money. They don't care what you have, if you broke, if you rich. They just don't like you for a reason. They feel that is wrong. Unnecessary hate is when you hate on somebody because they got a flashy car. Money that you don't even have or that you ain't even work to. Or a better life that they work so hard to get. Can you also be speaking deaf because you will attract that. You don't have to repeatedly speak deaf, especially if you throw your record out into the world and the atmosphere is going to keep speaking. There's no love in the world also because we're in the last days. People don't want to admit that, but we're in the last days. Sometimes you just got to let things sink in, you know. I also... Think... That we need to slow up... On all this violent crime. We just need to come to the Lord and pray. There's many ways to handle the situation to just shoot somebody. You don't have to shoot anybody. You could also pray. Ask God, how did he want you to deal with this situation? What's the best logical outcome? What's the la best logical decision? you can deal with this all. And people should stop, you should stop getting online also saying if you are part of that lifestyle that's bad and that's not good and you should not be a part of that as a criminal at all. And no, I'm not praising criminal ethics, but at least 
keep yourself hidden instead of just being online, having your guns, your money, your drugs all in the video. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Because you're basically turning yourself in without turning yourself in. You're basically giving out your evidence what you're doing without giving out your evidence. You're already making it an open and shut case for yourself. And that's bad. At least do something until you have a better out to get out and then get out. Because that's not a good life to live. It's toxic, it's negative, there's nothing but bad up in it. And there's only a few little strands of good and what profits if you do profit. And if you keep repeatedly getting caught, that means you're not good at it. You just need to find another source of income, a source, another way to get a source of income to take it, to have a great, better lifestyle than when the one you're trying to betray to live. Because it's not good. There's only two, two places you're going to death you in two places or two things is going to happen you're going to die you go to jail or if you live you're going to go back to what the to what the amount you came is zero and you're going to end up back in the same spot you started from so i just want people to get that in their head and as i leave you with this god is love God is the only way he, he could get you out of this. Keep God first. Be prayerful. Stay up. And take care of yourself. Holler.